We're really delighted to, to have the opportunity, the unique opportunity to present in Kansas City the gates of paradise that are perhaps the doorways to the Renaissance. Ghiberti was the ultimate Renaissance man. He was both an architect, a designer, a writer, of course a sculptor, and in a way, he's, in his own biography, he, he says something to the tune that uh, nothing of greatness was accomplished in Florence that didn't bear his fingerprints. And as self-aggrandizing as that predicament is, it is true that no one has contradicted him since. Each of the ten different panels depict a scene of the Ancient Testament. By reliefs that we see also, we see how sculptured and how detailed, how chiseled every detail is, becoming really like nuggets of jewelry. So they're really each and every one is a piece of jewelry that comes then to life into this huge composition. Today, again, that is something we take for granted because that technique of the point of vectors that we now call perspective is something that was masterfully put into practice then and these doors are the best example. These doors have the two portraits so it's a beautiful way also to see how he knew already his place in the Renaissance as a great accomplished artist. This, these doors are such a it, they're monumental and both in size, in, in, in weight, in, in heft and when deciding, there are very few places where you could put them just by their, their physicality, but also symbolically, where do you put a, just a marvelous work of art like this? And as we're celebrating the 10th anniversary of the block building and seeing that these doors fit perfectly, the entrance so, of, of our building, what we feel is that all of a sudden we've recreated a way, a gateway into our collections. So having one piece that is perhaps the anchor of Western civilization for the Renaissance as the gateway to all of our encyclopedic collections, whether from Chinese art to photography to contemporary art to uh, Native American, all of, the, all of the collections will be perhaps framed or accessed through these doors symbolically. And all of a sudden then the ramp leading you from the entrance of the museum to the information desk, we could call it that is paradise too.